السلام عليكم هنتكلم النهارده عن البيري اوبريتيف بيشنت اوبتمايزيشن البيري اوبريتيف بيشنت اوبتمايزيشن هي انترنال اوديت كارثروبلاستي سيرجنز احنا عملناها عشان نطلع باوتكم احسن لاور بروسيجرز للتوتال هيبس اند توتال نيز ذير از ماني باندلز هنتكلم عليها الهدف النهائي منها ان احنا ناخد احسن اوتكم من ال الاوبريشنز ونحسن من ادائنا ونحسن من مردود هذه العمليات. احنا عايزين نعرف ايه ان ذيس سيشن وي ويل نو واي وي نيد تو ميك بيشنت اوبتمايزيشن هاو وي ويل ميك بيشنت اوبتمايزيشن اند ذا ادفانسز ان ذيس واي. واي؟ ذيس ويل امبروف بيشنت اوتكمز ديكريز انفكشن ديكريز ان ذا كوست انكريز ري امبارسمنت and better outcomes equal happier patients and happier surgeons. كلنا عارفين دلوقتي انه there is more shift to the insurance system اكتر من الكاش patients. حتى كمان ال patient الكاش بي بيسالك هي العمليه دي ناجحه؟ هي اصل انا كنت بسمع انها ممكن يحصل لها مشاكل، هل هي فعلا فيها مشاكل؟ والتامين برضه بيسال هل انا هستثمر في هذه العمليات ولا مش هستثمر فيها؟ هل ده اوفرلود عليا ولا حاجه هتبقى بينيفيشال في المستقبل فاحنا عايزين نديهم هذه الاجابات ان احنا عندنا بروتوكولز وان احنا عندنا ويز ان احنا بنحسن من هذا البروسيس عشان في النهايه نخرج باوتكم كويس وبعد كده نقول لهم ان ذيس بروسيس از ا هيلبفول بروسيس هاو وي ويل ميك كلتشر تشينجز ان ذا بيبل اللي هو احنا وي ويل امبروف فروم اور سيلفز وي ويل امبروف ان ذا بروسيس اند ان ذا تكنولوجي وي ار يوزنج Perioperative periods of the patient's care هي perioperative periods يعني pre, intra and post. It will be by a multidisciplinary team, our arthroplasty surgeons, the anesthesiologists, infection disease management, uh, nurses, therapists, nutritionists and the administrative co-workers. كل المستشفى هتتعاون معاك عشان نخرج بأوتكم كويس لهذه العملية. Our goal: optimize patient outcome after arthroplasty surgery. Pre-operative, we will make a checklist of the patient risk factors. We will ass assign the level of infection risk and formulate medical optimization plan. One from the uh, our bundles for pre-operative optimization is Walk Forest bundle. هو اتكلم على البري اوبريتيف بيريود انا همانج ايه انترا اوبريتيف اند بوست اوبريتيف هنتكلم عنها بالتفصيل ليتر اون بري اوبريتيف وي ويل تشيك ذا بادي ماس اندكس وي ويل تشيك ذا هيموجلوبين توباكو سموكينج كلوروكسيدين ووش بري اوبريتيف ميرسا سكريننج ريسك فاكتور لابس اند اثيسيا اسسمنت اند ابوينتمنت ويز ذا سيرجنت اند ريسك فاكتور اسسمنت وات ار ذا ريسك فاكتورز وي ار Looking for, هنتكلم عنها إن شاء الله بالتفصيل منها ال poor dentition, smoking, body mass index, diabetes mellitus, previous history of infection, MRS screening, and other factors. Those factors are divided into non-modifiable risk factors like metal sensitivity and allergy, inflammatory arthritis like systemic lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, brevian joint infection, and any disease in the neurology like strokes, it was evidenced that these factors are, are having uh, significant bad outcomes or significant effect on the outcome of the joint arthroplasty by decreasing the outcome. It will be worse than other patients. Modifiable risk factors, which we can modify and make it better and improve our, our outcome, like poor dentition, body mass index for above 40, malnutrition, diabetes mellitus, tobacco use, MRSA screening, history of open wounds or infections, and uh, DVT, obstructive sleep apnea. And those all was significantly linked to worse outcome for the operation. How we will manage this? The poor dentition, it's linked to a septic focus in our body. It can increase the risk of infection. <coughs> How we will manage? We will send him to a dentist for evaluation and management. Body mass index above 40. Don't do, please. Why? Body mass index above 40 associated with DVT, infection, readmissions, and post-operative mortality. And how can we manage? By uh, weight loss, 
asking a nutritionist for uh, a plan or we will do bariatric surgery as a last resort. <coughs> Hemoglobin A1C and the uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Why it's a risk factor? Because it's, it's having increased risk for stroke, pulmonary embolism, infection, transfusion requirements, prolonged stay uh, at the hospital and more risk of mortality. Smoking above uh, 10 cigarettes per day or half a pack, it's, uh, it have a direct link with uh, increased significant complications post-operative and more wound problems. <coughs> Obstructive sleep apnea symptoms and history. It's linked to increased length of stay and the complications post-operative. Malnutrition. Why malnutrition and is a risk factor for infection? Because it impairs wound healing, it hinders fibroblast proliferation and decreased collagen senses, prolonged inflammation and decreased lymphocyte count and decreased lymphocyte count and impairs body ability to fight infection. How we will assess the malnutrition? By uh, asking a nutritionist before operation, uh, we will make albumin. If it is below 3.5, it's mostly wide most recognized and simple to obtain. We should follow it up and by anthropometric measures, but this is uh, indirect clue for the malnutrition. <coughs> it should be corrected before surgery. And we are having evidence for this, yes. There is many publications for uh, link of mal nutrition and joint arthroplasty by Bollet et al. 2018, he made a retrospective study on 49,000 patients of uh, total joint arthroplasty and he found that uh, increased double fold the risk of infection in the patients with malnutrition and increased risk for pneumonia and longer stay in the hospital and hospital readmissions. Joubert et al. Uh, 2017, he reviewed to 11,000 patients with the total joint arthroplasty, and he found that there is uh, 83 patients. Of those patients, he found that they need incision and drainage due to infection, and they didn't improve improvement only in 5% of, of those patients because they were malnourished. How we will improve our process intraoperative? By hair clipping in the holding room. احنا كلمنا على pre-operative. دلوقتي احنا intra-operative بقى. Pre-operative انت عملت اللابس وعملت الريسك اسسمنت بتاعك. بعد كده intra-operative بقى. انت خلاص وصلت بالpatient ان انت زبطت ده كله. دخلت قط العمليات. هتعمل ايه بقى? اول حاجة hair clipping in the holding room. انت مش هتعمل shaving before. مش night of, of surgery in the holding room. بعديها chloroxidine wash. ايزو بربار alcohol wash. minimize OR traffic. special wear. في لبس جديد للعمليات للارثروبلاستي وورلد وايد بنمشي بيه دلوقتي زي كده بيبقى فيه فنتيليشن سيستم اوتسايد اوف ذا اوف ذا روم ده بيبقى انت لابس ماسك كامل ايزوليتد عن البيشنت وعن الانفايرمنت عشان ما يحصلش اي كونتامينيشن يو ويل اكستشينج يور جلوف بيفور امبلانتيشن نو فلاشد انسترومنتس ما فيش حاجه نسيناها هندخلها فلاش ونشتغل بيها all of the instruments are regularly sterilized. Post, بعد ما بنقفل الجرح, dilute بوفيدون iodine solution wash and silver impregnated dressings. Post-operative, dedicated joint unit for ampulation and nutrition. There is evidence that if I make faster rehabilitation and out of bed, في uh, publication by Peterson et al. 2019 he make uh, increase in the patient ampulation from the second day post-operative by two hours and if every day two hours more he find it significantly improving the patient outcome and eating and drinking despite of lack of appetite he found it is having more adding value for the patient post-operatively. And the, uh, the other items that we are using a 24 hours of antibiotics, st standard wound care, chloroxidine wash, aspirin for low risk patients, 
home-based physiotherapy, follow-up instructions by phone calls. This was studied by Von Etal, Von Horn et al. 2019, and he found that these bundles are having significant improvement for the outcomes of the patients. If this is helpful, or if this, if this is helpful for us as arthroplasty surgeons, yes. This bundle that we talked about, the, which is Walk Forest, it having a significant decrease in the uh, patient infection and it having significant adding value post-operative. Pollock et al. 2018, he reviewed uh, a retrospective study about 3,114 patients. He, <coughs> he studied two years before this implementation and two years after of this implementation of this bundle, and he found that 62% reduction in periprosthetic uh, infection rate for the total hip, and 92% reduction in the periprosthetic infection rate for the total knee. This is the total bundle, pre-operative, intraoperative, and post-operative. Other bundles, other surgeons, عملوا bundle ليهم هما زي أي center عمل his protocol وأخذ شوية بس من البندلز من ال ال pre وال intra وال post ولقوا عملوا publication by Gottschalk. 2017, he found that a single surgeon experience in a level one trauma surgeon, uh, level one trauma center, he found that he was having infection rate 12.9%, uh, and after implementation, he found that this infection rate drops to uh, 1.9, it's 87% reduction in the infection rate, and the length of stay in the hospital decreased by uh, about 20 percent. Other centers making their own bundle, they took only the, the pre-operative and some of the pre-operative like the hemoglobin A1C, body mass index, hemoglobin and albumin and they make a review study uh, before this screening and after this screening in 520 patients uh, before screening and 4,075 patients after screening, uh, they did only pre-operative bundle, not intra, not post. And they found that complication rate reduced from 35.14 to 14%. Complication in the total knee reduced from 33 to 15%. Total hip uh, complications reduced from 42 to 14%. Infection rate, uh, rate decreased from 4.4 to 1.3, which all are significant reductions in the uh, infection and in the complication rates. Futures and advances. إيه الحاجات الجديدة اللي ممكن تتعمل واللي العلم دلوقتي بيدرسها عشان لو هي فعلا significant to be implemented in the pre-operative bundles or in the intraoperative or in the, op the post-operative bundles? New lab work like vitamin D level, it is not currently in the preoperative bundles. Lisa, ولكنه داخل ل. And the patient automated communication. هنتكلم عنها برضو. الحاجات دي it will be added to the bundles. In a single study by Hedget et al. 2018, he studied the preoperative vitamin D supplementation in the rat model, and in the he studied the periprosthetic joint infection. What did he do? He, he got 40 mice uh, with vitamin D deficiency and 20 mice with uh, uh, sufficient vitamin D, with its, which is 30 milligram percent. He found that there was a كان فيها فيتامين دي ديفيشنسي في مجموعه كان فيها فيتامين دي سفيشنسي عمل انكليشن اوف انفكشن ان استان ستيل واير ان ذا ني وتابعهم ثلاث اسابيع بعد كده هي كيلد ذيم اند هي هي ستاديد ذا انفلتريشن وذ ذا نيوتروفيلز اند ذا بكتيريال بيردن ان ذيس كالتشرز وات ديد هي فاوند ذا ديفيشنت جروب ذير واز سيجنيفيكانت كريتر بكتيريال بايو Illuminance and neutrophil fluorescence, colony forming units was significantly greater and diminished activated macrophage recruitment. In the rescued group or the sufficient vitamin D groups, significant decrease in the bacterial burden and the neutrophil infiltration. Preoperative 
communication and the perioperative communication. There is a study by Day et al. 2018 uh, increasing perioperative communication with automated mobile phone messaging in the total joint arthroplasty. What did they do? Uh, they make a bundle of uh, automated mo mobile messages starting one week before surgery, uh, one week, four days, two days and day before surgery. About what? About th the date of surgery reminder. Exa uh, encourage patient to examine the skin, provide the information regarding NPO and medications instructions. Post-operative management uh, messages began on uh, post-operative day one, continued for two weeks post-operatively. Uh, about the activity after surgery, pain control, dressing changes, monitoring concerning the signs and symptoms which are alarming, goals of discharge and ended with the mobile number for orthopedic clinic. And at two weeks, they make a review with the patient to check their uh, uh, satisfactory scores. And what did they found? Significantly greater satisfactory scores in the patient in the messaging group. Eighty-seven percent of the patient felt messages helped them to be more prepared for surgery. Hundred percent felt messages kept them more informed. Ninety-seven percent should participate in the messaging program again and this improve patient satisfaction which is our goal at end of the day potential degrees for need for the actual course and visits for the orthopedic surgeon and the arthroplasty surgeon what's our conclusion preoperative optimization decrease risk of infection improve patient outcome potential for increased reimbursement or reinvestment by the insurance companies, significant improve in the patient satisfaction scores, <coughs> outpatient, total joint arthroplasty and orthopedic procedure increasing in the prevalence after this implementation. Thank you very much.